All right, guys, we're taking a look at the Versa watch binder. It's just like this. Super elegant design, super compact, really nice. Um, opens up from the top. One thing I really don't like too much about it, which it will open from the side. However, pretty easy to get everything to. Uh, you can see your turns per day right here, all the way up to 1050. Um, and then the rotation is right here. Uh, go on Google and find out what direction yours can be winded. And then the um, turns per day. Majority of the time they're gonna be both ways and 650 is pretty standard. Um, right here is just your on, off, light, and on. So the lights look like this. Pretty nice, super quiet. You don't even hear it when it's winding. Um, it'll just spin throughout the day. It'll actually go back and forth depending on uh, what it wants to do. Let's just turn that off. Now depending on your watch, uh, I have the uh, Omega. Uh, so we'll pull this out. Pretty hard to pull out. You just want to take your hands where those little arrows are. It's a lot easier. And uh, kind of push down. Then this springs. So make sure when you're doing it, put the spring on. Comes with this little pad. It does come with an extender. Uh, this is a fat faceplate. You can actually use it on any of them, really. But if you have a bigger faceplate than that one, uh, you can go ahead and use that. I just use it as a stock one. Let's see if I can position this correctly. When you have it on, it should look like that. Now, keep it all together. And then you're just going to put the faceplate on. One second, I'll show you guys what it looks like. When it gets done, it should look like this. You can see. Too bad. Then, easy enough. You just slip it right in there. Hear the click. Push it right there. Go back here. Go ahead and turn it on. I usually don't use the lights that much. Um, unless you want that cool feeling, I guess. Other than that, that's it. And then we'll just stop in a minute and have a good old fun time with it. Not too bad. Pretty small, compact. You can kind of see from the distance the size of it. That's it. I'll do another review on another Versa I have for my other watches as well. So there you go. That's that.